Welcome back to Yakuza Zero. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. Let's move on. So Raina has invited us over to Serena to hang out and hide from the guys who are chasing us. Yes, that's right. So we are going to do that, but there's a couple of things I also can do. I've also been challenged by the, is it the Leisure King to do some karaoke. So that's something to bear in mind. So much going on. I also want to get... Yeah, I've got a scratch over my eye as well. Have you seen that? Nice little detail. There's a, a property over here, I think. This one that I can add to my repertoire. Health Wild Apple. It's a small erotic massage parlor, but it gets good customer traffic. What should I do? Let's purchase that. We've got plenty of money. Takes our share up to 72%. Thank you very much. And how else are things going around here? Seems to be going fine. I also want to drop into this convenience store just here because I have a, a burgeoning friendship with Miho that I want to keep working on. There we go. Hello, Kiryu-san. So I need to buy something in order to progress my friendship a little bit more. What's worth having? I feel like these bento lunch sets actually restore quite a lot of health. So let's buy one of those. Thank you for shopping with us. Uh, is that maxed out? It hasn't quite maxed out my friendship, so let's buy one more. Oh, she drafted some ideas for uh, based on head office feedback. Sorry, I just skipped through the dialogue without paying attention there. They appreciated the input and rewarded this branch with the addition of a new hot snack to our menu. It won't be available anywhere else. Isn't that nice? That's great. Good for you. We're starting to sell this today. Can you guess what it is? Let me give you a hint. It's delicious by itself, or with soy sauce or mustard. It's a specialty from the Nagoya area. Goes well with soy sauce or mustard, you say? Um, I don't know. Miso cutlets? I think I got it. Is it miso cutlets? Bingo! So, starting today, we'll be selling yummy miso cutlets. Yay! <laughs> Can't wait to try one. I really like them too. Oh, and the reward for guessing correctly is our brand new miso cutlet lunch set. You got a miso cutlet lunch set. <laughs> eh, thanks. You're welcome. Besides, it's thanks to your input that we have these on our menu now. I can't thank you enough. Yeah. You give me too much credit. Besides, look at you. You've become a model employee and you're excellent at customer service as well. Hmm, you think so? Well, I guess I'm not as nervous around customers anymore. Uh. Not only that, but the head office likes your ideas too. Who knows, you could be the manager of this store soon. Mm. Oh, no way. I have so much more to learn before I can even start thinking about that. But if I am getting better at my job, I have you to thank for that. Mm. How so? You were so scary looking that I was terrified of you at first, but we managed to become friends. Since then, I don't get jittery around other people anymore. Chatting with customers over the till became so easy. Come on, I'm not that scary, am I? Well, <laughs> hot. Anyway, I hope I can return the favour by making Popo your favourite store. Please keep shopping with us. I seem to have been booted out of the store. I'm going to pop back in and see if anything's happened now that I've maxed out my friendship with her. Oh, Kiryu-san. I heard from some other customers that you work in real estate. Is that true? Hmm? Uh, yeah, it is. That's perfect. You see, we've been looking for a reliable real estate company to manage our location. Would you be interested? Absolutely. That would be great. Are you sure about this, though? Of course. You seem dependable and you're a regular customer. What more could we want? I've acquired Popo Tenkaichi Street, which has put my percentage up to 77. Well, that's good. All right, my work here is done. That's now two businesses we've added to our roster. Already, and we're less than five minutes into the video. Yay, us. Now, also, what I want to do is I want to see if I can get to Sushi Jin down here. Now, last time I tried to walk down this uh, this alley, this alley, this street, I got forced into a little cutscene, but maybe that's a one-off thing. Oh, oh, no, it's okay. For a second there, I thought that I might have Mr. Shakedown on me, but it's not. It's just some Dojima family goons. Oh, this guy's got a knife. Oh, I'm down. Come on, let me get. I should focus on Mr. Knifey. Oh, oh can I get to a little... 
Uh, this guy behind me is giving me trouble. Yeah, it's all mighty punchy. Love it. Ah, he intervened with my my heat action. One more left. There he is. Let's change to a different fighting style. Let's give this one a little go just to finish off this chappy. Nice little dramatic finish. Crunchy facey. They think this is the end for me, but no, it is the end for them. Sorry. Yeah, we could probably do with a little bit of food, actually. Our, our health has diminished somewhat, so let's go into Sushi Jin. Welcome. What would you like today? Let's order. What can I get you? I uh, need something that's going to max me out, more or less. That'll do. Gets us a bit of friendship. Pretty tasty. I also believe that if I can get my friendship up with this chap, then that's another business that gets added to our uh, our real estate Hujima flip, which will be good. All right. Are we near to this karaoke bar? It's going to be a purple star. Uh, Mahjong, arcade, shogi, tell tell. Karaoke bar is up there. Okay, that's quite a way away, really, isn't it? But um, okay, let's let's go there. Oh, some people to fight there. Yeah, come on then. Actually, can I talk to this guy and intervene? Ah, it's Mr. Libido. I bet she's a virgin. I can smell it. Hey. Oh, hey there. We keep running into each other here. You really spend all your time at places like this, huh? <laughs> Guilty as charged. Anyway, how's it going with the telephone cards? Show me what you got. Ah, uh, okay. Phew! All these girls are super hot. Which one's your favourite? Yeah. Well, I don't really have one. <laughs> yeah, right. No need to be shy, you big old horn dog. We're both grown men. Tell me what you really think. Fine. I guess if I had to pick one, it'd be her. Huh? Doesn't she look like the girl from that store? Hmm? Hey, it does look like her. Oh boy, thinking of her is getting me excited. Ah! 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 It's coming to me. I see it. Phew! That one took a little work. You're telling me you really saw it. You saw her naked. <laughs> Ooh, got you curious. Yeah. I didn't say that. I just don't see how that's possible. You just have to train your mind. If you looked at a photo so long you burned holes in it, you'd be able to do the same with anything else. Mm. All right, break's over. It's high time I went to gaze upon some girls in the flesh. Later. Always makes me really uncomfortable having the conversations with the perverts. But it has got rid of the guys who wanted to fight me, so that works for me. Right, I want to make my way to the karaoke bar, which is all the way up here. Oh, a thing went zing. There it is. Can I pick this up? The Akaya Tomada type A card. Ayaka, sorry, not Akaya. And that again has made fighty guys go quiet. Oh no, they're coming again. Come on guys, chase me a bit. Yeah, let's have a little scrappy do. <laughs> Dojima family again. Guy's got a sword. We're definitely encountering tougher goons these days, aren't we? Do the little takedown thing. He was actually getting up, but, uh, you know, the opportunity's there. Give him a little bit of a stump. I fancy a bit of beast mode. didn't connect. Oh, and he managed to get in just before. Well, let's get a bike. Oh. And there's a guy between me and the bikes. I want to get a bike. Come on, let me have a bike. Uh, 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 got a bike. Yeah, now we're in business. <laughs> All that effort just to pick up a bicycle for one swing. You know, I had a good time though. Right, north is uh, this way. Yes, here we go. And I think this should be the karaoke bar. Let me just confirm, indeed. And erotic videos are over there. Yes, I'm not accidentally going into erotic videos. Um, next door, maybe? 
Here we go. This karaoke bar must be where the Leisure King wants to meet. Am I ready for this? Um, no, I want to save my game before I go in because I don't know what's going to happen here. No sense rushing in. Where's the nearest saver room? I think just down here to the left. Just on the corner here. Oh, some people there, but I can use the save thing, which should neutralize them, maybe? And then let's get away from them. I don't really fancy this fight right now. Let's get some distance. Okay, karaoke bar is here. Yeah, let's do it. All right, here goes. Oratachi, no. Judgment. Woohoo. You're amazing, boss. Yeah, but you're paid to say that. Oh, Kiryu's here. <laughs> hey, Kiryu-san. Long time no see. Why did you call me out here like this? <laughs> Come on, relax. I figured we could just hang out and have a good time. Maybe play a little game. A game? Ah. Yeah. Just something the five billionaires do to pass the time. To keep things fresh, we each bet a part of our turf. Whoever wins gets a share of the loser's area. What do you think? Exciting, isn't it? That's crazy. You could take a big hit to your business if you lose. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes it fun. I made my money in pachinko, buddy. It takes more than a little risk to scare me. So what's this game you're talking about? <laughs> it's this. Karaoke? Ah. Yeah. These karaoke machines are getting pretty high-tech these days. This bad boy scores your singing on a scale of 1 to 100. We're going to battle it out with this scoring system. Whoever racks up more points wins. How's that? Mm. But, <laughs> hey, hey. What, you chicken or something? Man, what a wuss. Or maybe you're just tone deaf. <laughs> It'd be painful if I lost a part of my holdings. But if I won, I could grow my share. Maybe I'll take him on. Uh. Fine, I'll accept your challenge. I'm confident in my singing abilities. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'll kick things off. The song is Judgment Shinpan. Is this the one I've done before? I feel like I did all right last time. <laughs> yeah, I got 80 points. Not too bad, I guess. Yeah, I think I can beat 80. Okay, you're up next. And if you get the same score as me, I'll still let you win. Uh. Got it. I'll show you how this song's supposed to sound. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Okay, yeah. Judgment, let's do it. And I'm not expecting to remember all the buttons, but um, I feel like I should be able to get 80 comfortably. Pretty good so far. some bads there how is it on the whole though? I feel that there were some st stretches there where it was going very nicely indeed I think it's an 80 it's a 93 wow comfortable victory lovely that'll do me <laughs> yeah, looks like I did okay no way how can a meathead like this sing with a great voice like that? As promised, I'll take a share of your area. <laughs> Damn it. I won the battle. My share of the Leisure King area has increased by 10%. That's up to 87 now. Wowzers. This isn't good, boss. He's already taken a lot of our turf, and now we have to give him even more. Uh -huh. Shut up. Don't you think I know that? Anyway, I've still got a backup plan. What? Listen, Kiryu-san. Playtime is over. I'm going to bring my A-game from now on. What you took from me, I'll get it all back. I'll spare no expense. You've been warned. Let's see what you've got. Later, man. If we meet again, that day might be your last. If you want to avoid that, it's not too late. Get out while you can. This guy seems like a bit of a dick. You know, I won the 10% off of him fair and square. It was his game, you know, his rules. And now he's acting all pissy about it. Sounds like the Leisure King's getting serious. 
things could be coming to a head soon. So we're back outside the karaoke bar. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to do while I'm in the area. Firstly, there was um, a merchant around here who I quite want to talk to. Let's see if we can get there without any kind of unwanted altercation. Yeah, out of my way. I'm always afraid of running into Mr. Shakedown in a narrow alley such as this. Yeah, this guy, what are you selling? What's the password? Good. What do you want? So yeah, I definitely want some stuff. Uh, I think the high torque motor is is something I definitely wanted for the pocket circuit car. I think this this is a game changer. It's expensive, but it's a game changer. Um, I could buy some weapons. I don't tend to really use weapons much here. I can buy fish. I can buy mushrooms. Boost in strength when throwing opponents. Interesting. A metal reinforced jacket resistant to fire. Don't know if I need that, but some more armor might be cool. 320,000 isn't much. I'm going to buy it to find out. Come again. Okay, let's try and equip that thing. So, is that going to be a gear or an accessory? Uh, defense, right, so that's a 433, so that's pretty good. Security wallet, fur belly warmer. It's a little bit of an improvement over the security wallet. I do want to keep this on for when I'm trundling around town, though. But maybe having that available for when I want to swap in for a fight. Oh, they're holding the wild shirts much better. Yeah, okay, so what I should do... Oh, but holding the wild shirt is gear, not an accessory. And that's a 998. So yeah, I should just sell these two shirts, really. They're not doing much for me at all. And likewise, that binding, it's you know, it's a step down from the one I've currently got on. The fur belly warmer and the sarong as well. Yeah, okay. But I did get the pocket circuity thing. Okay, and there's somewhere else I want to go as well, which is I think up here somewhere. I think Mr. Moneybags hangs out maybe outside that bar. So I'm going to go and check that out. And yeah, I'm, I'm aware that every corner I go around, I'm increasing my chances of running into trouble. This guy looks like he's got a story. Uh... Troubled man, what am I going to do? I don't want anything to do with the criminal underworld, but I finally got a promotion to manage this place all on my own. Oh, oh excuse me, sir. Are you talking to me? Yes. I'm sorry to spring this on you, but are you for hire? I need someone discreet. Let me show you to my place. Sorry, but I'm not interested in any hanky-panky with you. Eh? What? Oh, no. No, that's not what I meant. I swear. I need protection. You can provide it, no? Uh? Protection or not, I am not doing it with you. Wait, what? Oh, I get it. Sorry, but I'm not with the Yakuza. Eh? You're not? I'm very sorry. I had the wrong idea. You have this intimidating aura, see? So I just assumed. And also, that suit, you know, looks a bit like a thug. Anyway, why do you need protection? I'm the manager of this restaurant. We're about to add another line of business on the side, and I thought I'd better arrange protection with the local, um, boss? Usually businesses negotiate that with one of the local families. There's no one boss for Camarocho who'd protect you. And with all the land getting bought up in this area, almost all the tenants are gone. No Yakuza family will want to offer you protection. Uh... Oh, I'm in bigger trouble than I realised. You seem to know a lot about these things, though. Would you mind giving me some advice? I can't really discuss it in public. Could we step inside the restaurant? All right. It's not what I was planning to do, but, you know, it's a thing. All right, fine. Thank you so much. Please, come this way. This is Dragon and Tiger's Camarocho branch, and the owner runs the original restaurant in Sotenbori, Osaka. Oh, brilliant. Glad I came in here. Sotenbori, huh? The owner there has devoted most of his time and energy in a secondary line of business, and now he's instructing me to follow suit. What's the business? Uh... I trust you can keep a secret. He deals in weapons and other gear of that sort. Mm. Guns, is that it? That's a dangerous trade. Yeah. He's a weapons enthusiast. Dealing in weapons and other combat gear from all around the world has been a dream of his. I said enthusiast, but his wife would call him a maniac. He has a network of agents that send him weapons and parts, and he makes his own versions as well. That's a man who's serious about his hobbies. His wife must be quite a character to put up with all that. And it seems he met an interesting customer recently, and the encounter breathed new life into his secret trade. That'll be Majima. He's now single-mindedly pursuing a new goal, which is to provide that unusual customer with the finest equipment he can find or make. And that is why he's now telling me to sell weapons and gear here as well, to get feedback from Camarocho buyers on usability. Mm. 
That's a pretty tall order. Yeah. I trained to become a chef at his restaurant in Sotenbori, so I was aware of his side business, but that doesn't mean I'm comfortable selling weapons myself. He taught me everything I know, so I'd do anything for him. But this, I'm afraid of the police, and even more afraid of the Yakuza coming after me. Is it just weapons and gear? Any other illegal stuff? Spoken like a not a policeman? No, nothing else, but we would also repair worn down or broken weapons too. Also, when the Sotenbori branch gets something new, the owner will make replicas so we can offer it here in Kamurocho too. Ooh, so Kiryu's probably going to be able to buy a slime gun. He must have some real skills. A staff or something, sure, but guns too? Yeah. It's what he spends almost all his time on after all. But despite his skills, the sales are meagre because he's terribly picky about new customers. You should follow his example here. One blabbermouth and you'd be in big trouble. You're right. In that case, would you be our first customer? Nani. Are you serious? Dead serious. You seem tight-lipped, and having a regular customer like you would come in handy in case we do run into trouble with the Yakuza. It's funny how people have a tendency to trust us when they know nothing about us. I don't much fancy being their go-to guy for Yakuza problems, but I might need that sort of equipment. And it's not like there's a lot of other shops like this. Uh. Fine, it's a deal. I'll come by when I need something. My name's Kiryu. <laughs> it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Kiryu-san. The owner will be delighted when I tell him the news. I can now purchase, sell, and require equipment. Lovely. I'm going to do a bit of that. Welcome. I want to buy a slime gun. Or three. Show me what you've got. Ooh, super spicy knife. I've heard good things about this as well. Yeah, I'm going to have one of them. Sunburst looks beautiful, doesn't it? And let's have uh, three slime guns. What can I do for you today? Uh, I want to do some repairing as well, maybe. Get something fixed. Uh, yeah, my sunburst, that could do with a repairing. And have this 9mm auto pistol, which is out of ammo. That's got a decent attack of 100, actually. Let's have one of those. The money's disappearing fast, isn't it? Is there anything I can sell I'm not going to use? Actually, no, I suppose I just repaired it all up, didn't I? This broken M1985, a standard shotgun. Is it really that broken? Okay, let's quit out of this. Thank you for coming. So let me check my inventory. Now, it still does an attack of 115, so it's not that broken, apparently. Hmm, okay, might try that out at some point when I get into a, a tough fight. Okay, let's leave here. And let's go back to what I was planning to do. Wanted to go through here. Let's have a look around. I see a gang of guys stood over there who look like trouble. I want to get into this corner here, I think. Let's get our sprint on. What's this location on the corner here? Korean barbecue restaurant, okay. See, so yeah, my understanding... That looks like a gang of Yakuza walking through there. My understanding is that Mr. Moneybags hangs out somewhere around here. Let's keep wandering around, see if I can find him. And these guys want to fight. So I guess I better do that. Oh, he's got a big sword now. I'll get, get him while he's down. Yeah, that's him dealt with nice and quickly. Very happy about that. This guy's got a purple head, so I need to get him quickly. Get a man while he's down, get a man while he's down. Yep. And then this fella left. Oh, I've picked out a worn out electric baton, which will, um, he'll feel that. He's on the floor. Can I get him while he's down? Apparently not. Point seven million, lovely. Now you're sorry. Uh, these ladies are just trying to get on with their work, so let's not bother them. Yeah, maybe Mr. Moneybags is inside the... Oh, oh he's coming this way. Um, see, he's only got five million on him, so I don't really want to deal with that. Um... If I fight these chaps, then that will respawn Mr. Mr. Shakedown somewhere else. Yeah, I mean, one thing about the beast mode is 
painfully slow. Yeah, I've got your sword now. That was very effective, that sword. Okay, they tell me they're not going to do it again. Okay, so yeah, Mr. Shakedown should have disappeared from this corner now, and he's going to be somewhere else. And yeah, I'm seeing absolutely no sign of Mr. Moneybags here. So I'm going to go into this bar and see if he's inside. Hey, there is a, a pickup somewhere. I want to find it. I can hear it. Oh, there it is. On the table. I got the Luca Kane Type A card. So, are you Mr. Moneybags? Oh, there he is in green. I recognise him. It's you again. I didn't catch your name during our little money scattering encounter before. It's Kiryu. You always hang around this place? Yes. When I'm in Japan, I travel the world a lot, so I don't get to spend much time here. Don't you ever go home? I'll go home soon, on my next trip overseas. You live in another country. I guess when you're rich, that's an option. No, no. I live in a jumbo jet. A jumbo jet? Well, think of it like a mobile home. When you're a global businessman, you spend more time in the air than anywhere else. I have several private jets and I switch between them depending on my mood. They're hangered at different airports around the world. Hangar space is at a premium with the soaring land prices these days, so it costs me an arm and a leg. Ha ha! Anyway, I guess you could say this place serves as my office while I'm in Japan. Welcome to the investment fund, Kiryu-kun. Investment fund? You wanted to know how I earned my wealth, didn't you? Yeah. Business may be booming right now, but there can't be too many people earning more money than they know what to do with. You must have a few tricks up your sleeve. Well, this is how it's done. I just sit here enjoying a drink and wait for the phone to ring. That's it. Sorry, I don't follow. Can you tell me a little more? Sure, but it might take a while to explain. You want me to go on? Go on then. Has to be done. Please, fill me in on the details. <laughs> okay, but let me warn you, this could get long... Feel free to zone out if you want to. It won't get you in trouble later. And that's pretty much how the system works. Mm. Hmm, I see. <laughs> I zoned out, didn't I? <laughs> so when I put in money, it only goes to this M-san. Uh, Majima, yeah. And when I take a cash injection, it's always from him too. So that's right. You catch on quickly. Hmm. Then why do we need to go through the fund? Hmm? Yeah. Well... Wouldn't it be quicker for M-San and me to just exchange money directly? <laughs> oh, come now, Kiryo-kun. How on earth would you find someone you could entrust with that kind of money? Our fund has all the connections to ensure that investments only go to trustworthy parties. That means you can contribute without fear of putting your money at risk. Mm. Hmm, you have a point. Does he, though? Does he? I have to admit I know next to nothing about investing. Yeah, you're far better off using our fund to send money to M-San. Okay, I get the picture. Phew. So, who would M-San be in my case? Mm. Well, we have candidates all over Japan. I'm the face of the fund here in Kamurocho, and we also have a representative in Sotenbori, Osaka. Sotenbori, huh? I hear the nightlife industry is really booming over there, with cabaret clubs and the like. That would probably be a good area to invest in now. So you're saying the money I contribute would probably go to someone running a cabaret club in Sotenbori, huh? So, so. And the reverse is also true. Any money contributed by the individual in certain Bori would come to you in Kamurocho. We've kind of been told this already when we were playing as Majima. However, we'd take a cut for our commission so you wouldn't get the full amount. That's just the way it is. Uh, yeah, same stuff as before. That about sums it up, I guess. I think I get how the system works. As a gesture of goodwill, let me make a little contribution to your business. Kiryu-kun, you got 10 million yen. I did, didn't I? You sure you want to give me all this? Use that money to make your business thrive. And if you make a profit, invest any extra cash you have with us. Like I said in the beginning, we just juggle money. Our business relies on people using the fund. Okay, understood. Okay, I can build my friendship with him. So, when I was playing as Majima, I donated 10 million. Is that the same 10 million I just received, or is it a different 10 million? I flew first class to try it out the other day. Oh, has he not flown first class before? Oh, did you know they put you next to a complete stranger? The nerve! I'll just take my own plane next time, thank you very much. I completely got the wrong end of that stick. But never mind that. Welcome to the investment fund. How can we help you today? Let's get the financing. I'd like to get some financing. 
Okay, let me see how much I can make available to you. After I deduct our commission, the total comes to 8.5 million yen. Okay, we think your business has a lot of potential. Use the money wisely and build up your assets. Oh, and if you make a profit, don't forget to give back to M-San in Sotenbori, okay? Okay, so I've now taken the money that I gave as Majima, um, and yeah, at some point, I should, if I make lots of money, I should then give some back so that that's available to spend during his chapters. I don't remember there being two people in here before. Are both of these... Oh, right, this is Darts Guy, and this is Pool Girl. Yeah, we've played Darts and Pool before. We know what that's about. Let's leave, and I think... I think kind of concludes what I wanted to do right now in this corner of the world. So I'm probably going to end the episode there. Seems quiet out here. Hope you'll join me next time for more of this.